Namaste. There has been a request uh, asking for help in getting rid of excessive usage of the electronic devices, okay, the mobile, laptop, and other things. And uh, so, but nowadays, even the school education is being conducted through the electronic devices. Plus, work from home also needs to work on these devices. So now we have to see how much of time is needed for your work. And then apart from that, for your uh, relaxation and enjoyment, how many hours you are spending on the electronic devices. You know, we have uh, the body can be grounded and stable if you are connected to the earth. But our lifestyle and the using the electronic devices too much, it takes us beyond into the air and ethereal atmosphere. So we are not balanced. It creates turbulence in the mind and emotions. And you are spaced out most of the time. You are not at peace and you cannot think properly. So one thing you want to make very clear is if you if we think that somebody will you know do a magic wand and everything will disappear that is not going to happen this needs hard work from your side so unless you do that nobody else can help you so as a family you see each member how many hours are being spent for work and then the amount of time spent for your enjoyment and relaxation so we have to make a shift in our mind the relaxation and enjoyment has to be something connected with the earth you know for that also if you are spending five hours or on work you just cannot spend five hours for relaxation on the electronic devices it's going to affect your health and mental status so we just cannot afford to do that so calculate in your home how many hours are being spent on each of these sections and then decide the relaxation aspect electronic devices has to be cut down this you alone can do and unless you do that nothing is going to help and then you can have electronic device fast every day one hour once a week more than one hour so fix that time and you and the kids everybody has to adhere to that you can't say that you will break the rule and expect the kids to do that is not going to happen whatever you do the kids are going to follow not what you tell them to do okay that is another basic lesson in life they are always emulating you so be the idol for them they want to do what you do and then for each person somebody likes gardening more even a four-year-old bring a potted plant and give it as his or her responsibility you know you can guide them how to water and take other things and bring their attention to how these plants are growing you know so they develop interest so if they are interested in gardening or you can develop interest in them give one pot plant to each of your kids then drawing and singing whatever they have interest in let them develop and give them the facility and time at home to do that so that should be the relaxation for kids and then what about you do you like reading books not from the <laughs> mobile so get some books do reading from the book so when you read from a book and from electronic device it's entirely different experience you try that no? it should be your own experience I can feel it so distinctly and even now every day I write on the paper with a pen because I keep on studying also so when you read and then write and it is said on your fingertips there is this there is Saraswati Ma sitting so once you write it is intended deeply into your subconscious mind and uh, you will not forget that easily so you and the kids 
should be writing something at least every single day. Okay. Now apart from this, apart from this, not the sole thing, now you can, I can give you something to help you. Maybe you can do this uh, um, continuously for a few days and then once a week or once a month, depending upon how you find it useful. So you can do that. So get ready and make sure you are not driving a car or running any machinery and uh, take a seat, sit comfortably with your back more or less straight and just keep looking at my bindi here. As you keep looking at my bindi and taking some comfortable deep breaths. Be aware of your gaze on my bindi and be aware of the breathing. As the air is going in, as you inhale, feel the relaxation going deep into your body. And as you exhale, feel all the stress and strain and tension just leaving your body. It's a wonderful feeling to go into this relaxation. Every breath that goes in is taking you deeper and deeper into this relaxation. And as this relaxation is deepening, you feel your eyelids becoming heavier and heavier. You're striving to look at my bindi, but you feel you're finding it more and more difficult to keep your eyes open. And as you are exhaling, all the stress and tension is just leaving your body, making it still more difficult because once the eyelids are so relaxed, all the stress is removed. So the eyelids are just waiting to fall down to close. And as you inhale, as the relaxation is going deeper, allow your eyelids to close. Allow your eyelids to close. And you are going into a deeply relaxed, very comfortable, soothing state. Every breath that goes in is taking you deeper and deeper. And every breath that goes out is taking away all the remaining stress and strain and tension from every corner of your body, from every cell in your body. So you Maybe you're feeling like you're floating in the air. You feel a weightlessness because of this deep relaxation. And as you're going deeper and deeper into this relaxation, imagine five steps in front of you. And as I count from five to one, you're going to descend those steps one by one. You're just standing in front of those five steps. Put your foot on the uppermost step. Five. What do you feel? Is the step cold or warm? Four. One more step down. So what is the feeling below the foot? Is it made of marble, stone, mud, wood? What is that step made of? Three, one more step down. Two, one more step down. Just one more step you can see in front of you. And one. So you come down those five steps. And as you look around, you see a wonderful place. A magical, mystical, perfect place. Maybe you have visited this before. Maybe it is totally in your imagination. Whatever it is, you feel absolutely wonderful and at peace. So just spend a few seconds looking around. What do you see around? Do you see any trees laden with beautiful flowers spreading its fragrance? And it in between the leaves, do you see the sun ray, sun's rays filtering through and coming and touching your cheeks, giving that pleasurable warmth 
on your skin. And then as you're watching around, you see a room just a little bit ahead. Walk towards that room. The door is open. And as you enter that ro door, nobody else is there. But the room is filled with so many electronic devices, the latest ones. Personal computers, laptops, mobiles. You're so happy to see all these. It's for you to use. Go towards them and start working on it. As you sit down and work, you're enjoying it so much. Very beautiful latest machines and you know just don't touch everything is working so seamlessly wonderful time as you keep on working your body is becoming very very sensitive to the energy around you are alone in that room now all these devices and suddenly you can feel the vibrations coming from each of these devices. And as these vibrations become stronger, you can feel your essence just leaving your body. It cannot take this vibration anymore. And as it leaves your body, you feel spaced out. You're not feeling that calmness which you felt when you came down those five steps. You're feeling so restless. And then you feel that you're up in the ethereal atmosphere. Even though your physical body is here and it is not a good feeling at all. The whole you is not in one place. Your physical body is here, but your essence is out because it cannot take up these heavy vibrations from the electronic devices beyond a limit. So you're feeling restless and restless. And then suddenly, you feel like getting up. As you get up from that chair, your feet are firmly placed on the ground. You feel like closing your eyes. It's a very you know, not so good experience. This body, physical body here and your essence out. All these vibrations around you. So you just feel like closing your eyes. So you're just standing there with closed eyes. And then you feel your feet as they're touching the ground. You feel some vibrations on the soles of your feet. The healing energy from the earth, from the depth of the earth, is coming up all the way into the soles of your feet. You feel as if you are firmly rooted on the earth. The earth has tremendous healing capability. Earth is our mother. Mother can do wonders for their kids. We are all children of the Mother Earth. And Mother Earth has sensed the condition you are in. So it is bringing up all this healing energy. Feel it going up your soul. So it is very firmly rooted to the center of the Earth. From there, the nourishing energy, nurturing energy is coming up through the souls. Can you feel the vibrations on the soles of your feet? Okay, now imagine it going up. It's going up through the ankles, through the calves of your feet. Maybe you can you know, feel it like some warmth or some cold feeling or vibrations. 
whatever it's a very personal experience imagine it going through your knee joints coming up through the thighs to the hip joints and you can feel that relaxation spreading from the hip downwards imagine it now going up through the abdomen to the chest and as it spreads to the shoulders it's an indescribable feeling as your shoulders are being filled with this healing energy from mother earth imagine it spreading through your hands to the fingertips imagine it going up the neck to the back of your head top of your head coming down onto your face now as the head the back of the head top of the head and the face as they are being filled with this nourishing nurturing energy from the earth you are in a different world altogether you feel wonderful and as you're going deeper into this wonderful feeling suddenly on the top of your head you feel something the earth's energy has flooded your body so much the physical body so much that it has brought back your essence which has left your bo- physical body when you are working on the electronic devices too much it's a wonderful feeling it has come down into your crown chakra and the top of your head and just be open to that going through your head into your body your essence is back so for every number of hours you spend with an electronic device depending upon your personal needs you need a resting time away from the electronic device so that the mother earth can help you by keeping your feet flat on the ground closing your eyes and just requesting the mother earth to bring, bring you back to your normal calm self feel that vibration in your whole body in every cell of your body it's like you're going back into the factory set you know when you were taking birth there was a factory mode you were equipped with all the peace and calm and everything needed for your well-being but we tend to lose it by working too much on the electronic devices they are really bad you no know, continuous working on electronic devices is too bad for your existence in a healthy and stabilized way so now that you're being filled with this nurturing nourishing energy from the earth you're going back to that original factory setting of your own and it's really an indescribable feeling feel that in every cell of your body i'll give you a few moments of silence just to be totally in that totally absorbed in that totally be aware in that and the moments of silence start now now that you have enjoyed that state totally and you can feel the difference in your whole physical body your essence is totally stabilized in your physical body you can come back to this state any time when you think you really need this by listening to this 
you can decide how frequently you want to do that. Now keeping this totally in you. You can slowly come out of that room with all those electronic devices. If you have put it on something, you can just close them one by one and come out of the room and walk towards those five steps. Now you're standing in front of the five steps. You can just spend a few seconds looking around and taking in that beauty around, the natural beauty, the fragrance, the scenes, the sight, maybe the songs of birds. Just enjoy that. Now get ready to climb those steps, st steps back. I'll count from one to five and you'll come up those five steps. One, two, three, four, and five. So come back up. Now you are getting ready to come back to the present and now. I'll count from one to three and you can come back to the present and now. One, take a deep breath, fill up your lungs with energy giving you oxygen. Feel it going to every cell of your body. Two, you'll always remember this experience and you will be coming back to listen to this to get the same experience every time you listen. And three, you're ready to come back to the present and now you can slowly open your eyes. Okay, so how was your experience? I'd be happy to read your experience if you put it on the comments. Bye-bye. Until next time.